Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, just want to remind um, people that uh, we have excellent uh, online receivers if you want to try to hear something that you don't hear where you live it's fun to go online and try to hear it you know I get a lot of people saying well you know I'm not gonna go online because it's cheating and it's like look you're tuning a radio online and uh, think whatever you want to think they are fun to tune around. And if you don't have a shortwave radio, actually, maybe this is a way to see if it's something that you might enjoy before buying. Now, it's very different. It's an online interface, of course. Not like a portable radio that you would have in your hands, but still, you have the ability to uh, listen in to the world uh, through different parts of the world also. So there are stations that don't make it where we are, and uh, online Kiwi SDRs are a great way to tune. Your ham radio operator, want to know if your signal is making it somewhere? Uh, You're calling CQ and SSB. Well, you know what? These are great. You can actually tune one, and as you're calling SSB, um, you know, see if your signal has made it to uh, a target area, maybe that you'd like to to, uh, uh, contact a station. They're not all equal. Uh, That's very important to understand. Some are very noisy, and some are much better than others. It all depends on the location. You know, these Kiwi SDRs are located, some of them in the middle of cities, so they might be noisier than others. Some are excellent. Some have really great sensitivity. Uh, So it's fun to tune around. So what you go is you just, you know, go through. You can zoom in or out of the map if you want. And then you can choose, you know, specific ones. See here, I'm going to choose one in uh, Nova Scotia, Canada here. Uh, and you can click on it. And then you have the interface. You open the uh, the radio itself. Now you hear that it's on CHU, for example. Um, and you can, of course, click on that frequency and change it and say, okay, I want to try uh, uh, WWV on 10,000 and press enter. And you have all the modes that are here, AM, uh, synchronous AM, uh, DRM, a lot of them actually decode DRM, lower, upper, sideband, CW. So all you can do is simply tune around, see if we can hear something coming in. Um, when you tune a signal, let's see if we can uh, get one that's a little clearer. Seems that there's a little less... Uh, can try 3330 from CHU, see if it comes in. There we go. You can remove, of course, this panel here. You can zoom in to where you are tuned. So this is also cool because you can have and see in the waterfall clearly where you're tuned and the signal around you, like an SDR that you would have in your home. So I honestly think that this is a great way to tune the bands. You can select bands. If you want to know where to tune, it's going to give you the different international broadcast bands, utilities, uh, time signals, the amateur bands, uh, beacons, channel markers. These are these are the Russian channel markers, actually. So you can tune in and see if it's going to, you know, give you anything to hear. And of course, you can change the modes and change whatever you want to see what you can hear on the bands. The map view is the one I prefer because it's visual and you can see where you actually chose your receiver. Like I said, you can tune in, uh, uh, zoom in or zoom out and uh, check it out. Uh, It's a great resource online. And uh, if you don't have a receiver, it's a great way to test out if maybe you'd like to listen to the radio. Got a receiver at home. It's a great way to test. Sometimes you can choose receivers around where you live, see if they hear things you don't hear. Uh, maybe you're trying for a signal and you're wondering, is it me? Is it mm, too much noise where I live? Well, you can try some SDRs around where you are, see if you can hear them there or not. And, of course, uh, try for these exotic stations that you might not hear where you are because of the frequencies and times and power used. Then you can go and tune a specific signal on one of those SDRs around the world closer to uh, the, the area where it's transmitted. So uh, have fun with this. It's really, really great, and um, I think it's a great resource. Uh, And more and more are popping up over time, so uh, it's really, really a cool thing to have. Link is in the description below. Hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.